Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Today we're looking at a new shop machine. This is a Edland 1B 15 inch drill press. Has the remnants of the war production board tag. This is a early, from the serial number info I gathered, it's early 1944. It's in pretty good shape. It has a really heavy coat of orange paint. But yeah, I picked this guy up. It's got a one more taper spindle. I'm debating pulling that out and boring it and reaming it to two. We'll see. It's got four speeds. They're all fast, but again, it has a one more taper. It's got a quick release handle here. You pull this out, you know, it's normally engaged. You twist it and you can pull it out. Then you just use the wheel. It's got this cover on it. Everyone takes these covers off because then you can see there's a flat belt in there. And they look really cool, so I think I'm going to do that too. The reason I got it is, A, I super love drill presses. It's nice and solid. This thing weighs about 800 pounds. It's got a weight assist to lift this. Another reason I got it is with the uh, spindle being able to travel up that far. And the table all the way down. This has a very good vertical work envelope and I have some I do a lot of drilling with the work I do a lot of drilling I'm always making motor adapter plates for pumps and all that so I could use a few drills in the shop so I'm going to pass this one up it's got a dovetail table ways again everything's nice and sturdy and solid it has a spot here on the base. It's not drilled and tapped, but you can do, uh, drill and tap that. And that'll be where the uh, coolant runs into for cutting oil or whatever you're using. So let's hear it run. It's I'm just lubed it up and ran it for a little bit, so there might be a little bit of bearing noise. And a lot of that's that metal cover. I need to tighten it up. As you can see, it's running very, very true. Let's turn that off. I'm sure that was very loud. But yeah, the spindle has almost no run out in it. Now, the table is not super favorable for mounting things to. There's two holes drilled in it. So, I don't know if I'm going to mount a... Uh, XY vice in it. We'll see. I might have to put some more holes in it. I know that's a that's a terrible thing to do, but I might have to. Haven't cleaned it up to see what the motor horsepower is. My guess is a it's a one. It's normal 110. It was sold by Gossinger. This is just a machinery dealer tag. It's not who actually made it. Edland was purchased by Monarch in the oh six late sixties, I think, something like that. But yeah, just a very cool, rugged, robust old drill press. Let me go up here, show you the drive. If I can do this safely, oh. it's got a flat belt in there. And when you turn that dial, it raises these forks and they move the belt with it. And you can see where I've been oiling it. That back bearing right there is a little noisy. It has oilers on everything. So, you know, this thing will probably last. It'll, it'll last for the rest of my lifetime. So, yeah, very cool drill press. We're going to get cleaned up a little bit. I'm not going to paint it because the orange paint is pretty even on it I've just been cleaning it a little bit down there but yeah it's got table lock table raising just a nice solid machine but I'm gonna take that cover off because it'll look really cool I'll clean up up there a little bit so yeah you'll be seeing this in some videos once I find where I'm gonna move all the drill presses to this is Adam from small time machine shop Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.